Markings on hermetic refrigerant motor compressors and equipment. 440.4. I purposely was not covering any calculations in this course because I wanted to be able to cover as much as I could in the meat without getting bogged down into all the little nitty gritty in the calculations because I'm doing calculations all over again at a different time. But this rule here is so simple and it's not a calculation and I think you have enough knowledge you can work on it. And here's what it says. Multimotor and combination loads, air conditioning and refrigerated equipment must have a visible nameplate marked with the manufacturer's name, rating and voltage, number of phases, minimum conductor opacity, and the maximum rating of the branch circuit, short circuit, and ground fault protection device. What I'm saying is that if you look at this nameplate, it gives you everything you need to know for you to size the circuit conductor. And it says here, minimum circuit conductor, 30.4 amps. Well, we would assume this to be 75 degrees C because I asked you to assume everything in this course to be 75 degrees C. And at 75 degrees C, we would go to table 31016. We would look at the 75 degrees C column. Brian, you want to pop 31016 for me? We're going to look at the 75 degrees C column. And you put it on pause. You kind of go back there and check this out. And what conductor 75 degrees C could we use? Mario, what, what, what does it look that you think? Sure. Um... 10 gauge. Okay. Brian's going to pull us up there real quick. 75 degrees C. Sure. Down to here you highlight every other one or every third one. And then, so 75 degrees C is rated for 35 amperes. So we put a 10 gauge wire. And if you take a look at this. You hold that there, Brian. If you take a look at this, this says that the minimum circuit or the <clears throat> maximum fuse or circuit breaker is 50 amps. And we're not going to go to 240.6 on the standard size. Trust me, there is a 50 amp breaker. So what we would do is we would take a 10 gauge wire and we would put it on a 50 amp breaker. Now we talked about overcurrent protection back in chapter two. And we looked at 240, Brian, pop up 240.4. We looked at 240.4 and it said this. It says conductors must be protected in accordance with their opacity, except maybe as modified or except as permitted by A through G. I think it's A through G. Yep. Yep. So, so uh, except as permitted, the last sentence highlights it, Brian. Sure. As, okay. Otherwise permitted are required in A through G. And Brian, go down through, uh, I'm going to say G. Okay, power loss hazard, overcurrent devices, 800 amps Small or less. conductors, that was your 10 gauge. Small conductors, 18-gauge uh, copper, 16 copper, 14, 12, 10, tap conductors, transformer secondary. Okay, right there, stop. Now, there's a table. And interesting, what this table says is you got to protect conductors according to our opacity, except A through G. And then G says there's so many things that's, that we don't have to comply with that it refers us over to a lot of other ones. And Brian, looking at your G, we can see that there's a rule that talks about what? Air conditioning and refrigeration equipment, which means you size the conductors in accordance with G. And this is not the time to get into the heavy details. But that would be a 50 amp breaker. That would be a 10 gauge wire. Which, if you know what you're doing here, that might be counterintuitive if you're used to putting, oh, I got a 50 amp breaker, I have to have a number eight or a number six. So yep. that's why it's a little surprising to people sometimes. Well, you remember when we looked at table 310, 16, it was the asterisk? Little asterisk. Yep. Asterisk, asterisk, and the note said, see, 240.4D. Yep. We went to 240.4D and 10 gauge wire says a maximum 30 amp breaker. Yeah, but but that was D. Right. 240.4 said, except as A through G, and we're not going to stop at D. We're going to go to G because air conditioning and motors and other type of loads have special unique characteristics and there are different requirements. 
So we'll be covering this in great detail when we get into our calculations to understand how that works.